Good morning, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be here to roll rear today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Sagittarius, this is going to be your monthly reading. I believe I already said that, but whatever. Today we'll be using the Rider Weight deck, the Moonology deck, and these ruins I have right beside me. All right, so let's see. Let's do two more shuffles. But either way, two more shuffles. Here we go. Divide up the deck. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so Sagittarius, during this time, well, at the bottom of the deck, you have the three of wands, which tells me that you could be waiting for your ships to come in during the month of May. So there could be a lot of waiting for you uh, during the month of May. You do have the six of pentacles, the Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups in reverse. So that tells me that this month is going to be very balanced for you and you're going to be able to start seeing the bigger picture out of you know everything that's going on in your life. Um, whether it's giving to someone or uh, realizing why you know certain things had to happen a certain way. And then you have the Page of Cups here so you could be not like under... Maybe there was a while where... <laughs> All right, let me reword that. Maybe there was a situation between you and a Pisces where you didn't understand where they were coming from. And on the path that you were taking, you weren't learning anything. And it just, it didn't really make sense for you to keep moving forward with this person by your side. All right, so let's see what your ruins got, what you got for your ruins. And then we got, and then we'll see what other cards you guys got. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the myth mess ups, but yeah. Oop. All right, so you got four. You got movement. You got separation, so you could be separating from someone. You have growth. And you have partnership. So for some of you, you may be moving towards a partnership. You may be moving away from a partnership. Uh, but for all of you, you will be growing from the situation. Whether you are walking away from it or going into a partnership, you will be growing from this situation, which is awesome, which is what you want. All right. You have the Ace of Pentacles here, so that's good. You also have the Page of Pentacles, so you could be getting a new job, or there could be some sort of raise that you'll be getting in the month of May. Um, by the way, these can also be initials. You got M, X, and B. Um, oh, and you have the fish, Pisces, but I, but that's generally a separation. So, um, and it's funny how the Pisces card also came up earlier, so... Yeah, so you also have the Five of Cups here, so that you could be getting a new job, and maybe financially you are starting to be more stable, but when it comes to your emotions, you may be a bit unstable, or you may be a bit lonely without this person in your life, and you may have to deal with some stuff on your own, but you may you know, grow your work and financial abundance, which is really good, you know, really Growing that abundance is going to really help you out in the future, but you gotta stop looking at the past. You gotta start looking at what you got and what you are achieving, rather than looking back at the past and you know, crying over spilled milk because that's not going to solve anything. What's going to solve things is going. So what is going to solve things is, you know, present day. Solving things during present day and realizing that you can make a difference right here, right now, by just changing how you approach the situation, all right? Really seeing the bigger picture on what's to come out of this whole situation that's going on between you, someone else, a work situation, whatever it is, all right? Let's get three more cards for you guys. So you have the Emperor and you have the four... Why did I say the four? You have the you have the seven of pentacles here, which tells me that you're no longer lacking abundance and you are finally standing in your power and doing what is best for you. You may be a bit controlling, but you're very hardworking and you deserve to be the emperor because you're 
powerful and you may be a bit controlling at times but and you also may have some aries in your chart or could be dealing with an aries but you don't have to be but this energy is very hard working in control kind of bossy energy or maybe you're just working hard to get to a certain title like a ceo or just like some type of you know higher management uh you know role in your job so that way you can you know no longer be working long hours and like working your you know butt off just to you know make a minimum wage you'll finally be getting the abundance that you desire and you will be getting the raise that you desire from a boss or maybe you may be getting a raise you know financially wherever that may come from you know that's up to you oh you guys can't really see the cards let me let me fix that I'm sorry about that. So for the signs that I see, I see Libra, Sagittarius, uh, Aries, Taurus, and Pisces, and Virgo. All right, so let's uh, let's get into your Moonology cards and see what you guys got for advice. Now I already know that you guys got a ton of of a ton of advice already but you know there's nothing wrong with getting more advice especially with the moonology cards you know most most of the time they are good cards you know most of the time they you know say good things they give you good advice and they help you out in the long run and there could be some hidden messages that you see in the in the cards that I don't see so And yeah, if you got if you guys are liking, you know, or resonating with this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. All right, one more shuffle, and here we go. All right, so Sagittarius, you got your card. You got luck is on your side. That's good, and nothing will come of this situation. So, if there was, you know, any bad blood between you and someone else it looks like it, it's nothing bad is really going to happen between you guys um but may just seems like it's going to be a really abundant very lucky time for you and things are going to start you know being balanced for you and helping you move forward in the right direction that you want to go in which is great um and if you stay in this past energy while you're you know continuing to look at the past you won't get this abundance you won't get this luck this feeling you know this you know amazing feeling that you're supposed to be getting in the month of may so try to stay in the present moment try to you know put yourself out there you know go outside get some fresh air you know I don't know why, like, change your clothes. I, I don't know why I was getting that, but, like, maybe you've been staying in the same clothes for a little bit, you know, but, yeah. So, Sagittarius, I hope you guys resonate and enjoy this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the in the description below. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other videos on my channel, you can hit the channel button and scroll down and see what you guys you know prefer or may resonate with. Or you can click those videos that just popped up on the screen and they will take you to another one of my videos. But for that being said, I'll see you guys next time.